way stopped looking attractive. Her head was always puffed out instead of styled, and her nails were cut short instead of her elegant manicure and design. Instead of the bright dresses she used to love to wear, she wore long t-shirts, and the odd pair of pants she could do chores in and go to bed in. She had completely forgotten about makeup. When her wife got out of bed in the morning and washed her face, she did not sit down to the mirror to put on makeup, but went straight to the kitchen to cook something. Her way was off the charts in every way, her stomach, one strewn, sack. Cellulite and stretch marks completed the sad picture. I once fell in love with a spectacular beauty, his appearance attracted not only me. All passing by men looked behind her. And now there was a shaggy creature with unplucked eyebrows, sagging breasts. She was too lazy to even wear a bra. So there was no trace of the old beauty left. I decided that I did not want to be next to me with such a slob, and left her. What was my surprise when I met her a year later? A red-haired beauty was walking toward me, shining under the gaze of passersby. As before, people were turning after her. Her thin waist was accentuated by a charming dress. Her hair fell in bright curls on her shoulders, creating a mysterious beauty. Her eyes sparkled playfully. Not a trace of the excess weight, creases on her stomach, unscratched hair and fingernails. I could not believe my eyes. The queen was walking toward me, and it was the mother of my three children. Only now that I was alone did I realize that all the changes my wife had undergone were the result of her recent childbirth. The skin on her abdomen couldn't get back to normal quickly because two more babies had been born not too long ago. The body did not have time to fully recover. And after all, there were two more babies running around the apartment who needed to keep an eye on them. Where was she to find time for styling, manicure? And when was she to flaunt her beautiful outfits? All her time was devoted to her family. Those few minutes when the children were asleep, she devoted to me, her husband. She didn't have time for herself, so she did her hair in a way that didn't get in the way, and wore clothes that made it easy to take care of the kids. But the house was always clean and the food always cooked. Comfort and warmth never left our apartment. And she was happy about it. Despite her tiredness, my wife always smiled kindly and was friendly. After all, she was in the environment that made her happy. I only now realized that I was living next to the kind of woman that many can only dream of. With my own hands, I ruined that fragile thing that is not given to everyone. Only an idiot would leave a woman with three small children because of her appearance. And I was an idiot. Now the kids were a little older, and their mother could afford to go to a fitness center, a hairdresser. My hands were well groomed, and the smell coming from my ex-wife stupefied my thoughts. Why couldn't I analyze the situation before and not make hasty decisions? Now I realize what happiness I had missed out on. After all, I have lost not only my wife, but also my adorable children are not with me. I did not appreciate the pearl that I received as a gift from fate. Perhaps she will meet a man who will appreciate it. She wouldn't let someone like me anywhere near her now. It was a serious life lesson for me, and I have learned it and will not repeat it.